Hi guys, I'm Hethel with ShowMeTheCurry.com and today I'm taking a field trip to the Santa Monica Farmer's Market and I'm here with my friend Hyla Johnson from Hyla Cooking and Veronica Hill from California Travel Tips. So girls, I hear that this is the place to be on Wednesday mornings. Right? Yes, this is the largest certified farmer's market in Southern California and all of LA's top chefs shop here. Wow. And yeah, it's hustling and bustling. It's a beautiful <laughs> day and it's very colorful. So. I can't wait to look around with you. I know, let's yes. get started. All right. We have Sugar here, and she's going to tell us a little bit about squash blossoms. Hi. Okay, so this is a squash blossom, and it's um, attached to a baby zucchini. And there's lots that you can do with these. Um, I'm actually, these are so beautiful and so fresh that I'm really excited to make them today. And what I'm going to do with them is stuff them with a little bit of a fresh uh, ricotta cheese mixture, put a little egg in, maybe some Parmesan cheese and some chopped mint. And I'm going to batter them in almost like a tempura type batter, you know, using some kind of a, like a beer or something yes, fizzy to give it a nice texture. And I'm going to deep fry them. But you can also saute them and you can also use them in salads because they're so pretty and they're edible. So we have Diego right here and I'm thinking about making a peach and ginger lusty. So he's going to help me pick out the perfect peach. Good, good variety of colors, dark colors, so this should be more sweet. Oh, okay. This right here, you can tell that it's not too green. Even though it's a little firm, it's already ripe, it's already got the flavor. When it's kind of green like this, you know, it's, it's, it's going to take a couple of days to ripe, but this is, this is how you can tell it's already ripe. I prefer the bigger sizes. The small ones are good, but they're not as good as the, as the bigger Go for the bigger have peach. more flavor. Perfect. Thanks a lot, Diego. All right. They don't like pop full of water like a lot of cherry tomatoes, but wow, it's almost like you're writing into a strawberry or something. Well, I've never seen yeah. these kind of mushrooms. But this is also in the wild. It's called hen of the woods, uh -huh. and cultivated. It's called maitake, but it's the same mushroom. And, what and would you both do? of these we grow indoors on oak. Oh, on oak. On wood, yeah, okay. instead of soil. What are these lobster mushrooms? Are those are they related to oyster mushrooms? No. They have a slight seafoody aroma, and they are very much uh, solid meat. Wow. So here's something you don't see very often. It's fresh ginger. So we have Key right here, and he's going to tell us some of the uses for this beautiful ginger. You could uh, basically use the whole thing. The, uh, the bottom half will have a, uh, thank you, a sharper, sharper flavor, but a, uh, not a strong flavor. And then you could actually use the stock for soups or stocks or anything that you need as well. So how is this different from the normal ginger that we're used to seeing? It's not as strong. It's not as strong. Yeah. My dad used to grow these in, the, in uh, our yard. Wow. Is it's it called string beans? Yeah. Have you ever had these? I've had green ones. Yeah, I've had green ones. So how you find a good watermelon is that what you're actually listening for is that whenever you see people tapping them like this, they're actually listening for an echo. And whenever a watermelon gets dead ripe, they develop a small air pocket in them. And if you ever crack a ripe watermelon, you tap it with a knife and it splits right in half. And then that's how you know it's dead ripe. And so whenever I'm listening for, I'm listening for an echo instead of a thud. And this one has more of a thud. And this one has more of an echo. And so I think this one is a better one. And that's how you pick them. Thanks, Sean. You're very welcome. So this is the best part of the Santa Monica Farmer's Market, that it ends in a beautiful beach. 
That is just too much for words. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for joining us on our little field trip. And remember, if you're looking for adult beginner recipes, check out Hyla Cooking. And if you're traveling to California and need some tips, California Travel Tips with Veronica. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye.